Oh, hello there. Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to Infect Onita 3 Apocalypse. Now, if you've been on the Armour Games website, you will have no doubt seen in the, this game. I believe there was like two, incar in, two incarnations of it previously. So this is actually out on PC now. And if you don't know, it's a zombie apocalypse arcade sim where, where you, you're the bad guy and you have to infect people. So we're going we're gonna to start a new game and we're going to take a little look at it. Army Game Studio, so get to the main menu and whoa yeah. Toge Productions presents. Here we go. Drop the virus. Zombies come out. Yeah, so that that's simply what you do. First of all, I'm gonna try and turn the music down. Cause I don't know why they always start the music on crazy loud. And that's quite clearly not my resolution. And we want high quality. Uh, ooh, can I show red blood? I don't know if I can on the channel or not. We're going to have blue blood instead. We're going to have royal. We're going to have royal blood. Okay, so we're going to start infecting. New slot. Tutorial. Enable, disable tutorial. We're going to show the tutorial. Okay, click to continue. So, left click anywhere to spread the virus, infect as many as possible. So this drops it out in like a... It's it's like dropping a pod and it'll shoot it in a cross direction. So I need to, if I drop it here, I'll be able to hit him, him, him and him. So as, it, as it's demonstrating here. Oh, I missed that one. Now, uh, anyone can be hit by a virus will turn into a zombie. And then you need to collect the coins. And as you can see, the zombies are doing their work. Uh, we can also use grenades if you're getting overrun a little bit. And you can see there's one person left. Let's drop you. Nice. Click and drag to move the camera. Uh, now you've learned the basics, you're ready to destroy the world. Go start infecting. Nice. We installed all the... We killed all the humans. Uh, a level is over if you lose all your zombies or you kill all the humans. So... Your goal is to infect people, turn them into zombies, and destroy the world. Let's destroy every city and wipe out humanity. Now, choose a continent to start spreading your virus. I think last time I played this, I started in Europe, so... Um, I'm tempted to start in a bigger state. Maybe I should start over here, like Russia. People here breathe vodka instead of air. Unlock z z Berserker Zombie. Okay, so depending on where to start... So you get a collector zombie, a clown zombie, biker zombie, toxic zombie. Ooh, what's that one? Spitter zombie. I don't think I've had the spitter zombie before. A uh, thousand coins. From... So I got the grabber zombie. I quite like the sound of this spitter zombie. Which was that? Was that Australia? Indo-Aussie. Is that what you call it? If anyone's from Australia, comment. Let me know. Is that this whole region in Indo-Aussie? Spitter. So we're getting a free spitter zombie. And then we get to choose where we want to actually go. So we can go there. Geraldton. Or what was the other one? Uh, Melbourne. So same objectives on some of these. So we're going to kill five humans. And we've got these side objectives. Kill ten humans. Gather coins. Spawn five zombies. Let's go for Melbourne. So we need to kill five humans. Hmm. So... Was going to be a good point to do these. Uh, we, need, we want to try and get a few of them, so let's try that. There we go. So they start going around and infecting people. When people die, they will spawn more zombies. Okay, but if they get away like that over there, it's harder to get them. So you have to then sort of drop, drop them further away like that. Where you think they're going to be. So these are all going to be out of range. Okay. I've only got one zombie left, but I've got some left here, so let's drop you. Try and infect a few more. He should turn into a zombie. Oh no, why are you not turning? Oh, I think it's, there's, a, there's a chance of um, infection, percentage chance of infection. Oh, am I not going to get perfect? I am. Okay, we've got all the zombies. We used all these up though, which is it's a bit of a pain, but we can get some more. Nice. Got a perfect infection level rate up. Nice. Panic level up as well. Okay. Zip this. Let's see what we get. Get some cards. Get some. Oh, so we've got three common and five common, which is good. Because zombies aren't infinite. You do need to replace them. 
Um, and we'll show you that when we get to the thing. Okay, we've done all our objectives. Nice. And the next objective is craft two zombies and spawn a spitter zombie. Okay, welcome to the lab. This is where you upgrade your zombies and make them stronger. Zombies are slow moving, rotting corpses. We need to change that. Let's start upgrading. So, uh, if we click here and buy lifespan, this will mean the, the, a bonus lifespan of 0.5 seconds. Okay, so these will rot slower. Let's improve your zombies' walking speed. So, these are what all these things are. So, it's lifespan is how long they last, speed is how fast they walk, damage resistance is how much damage they can take, attack is how much damage they do, infection chance is when you kill someone, there's a chance they will become infected. And I'm not too sure what mutation is. Let's skip to that one. Okay, does it is it going to tell me on that one? Mutation chance. Okay, here we go. The chance for an infected human to mutate into more powerful zombies. Ah, so all these basic ones is probably worth getting. These are all quite cheap, 200. Let's get a basic level in all of these. Okay, and I'm going to splurge and spend out on lifespan. We've still got a thousand bucks left. Now, you can get sports items as well, like grenades. So... We'll give you 200 coins to get you started. So it wants me to buy a grenade. So we unlock it first of all. Uh, you can equip an item by clicking equip or dragging it to the slot. Grenades can blow up walls and objects. Okay, I didn't know it blew up walls. You can buy as many uh, items as you want, but you can only carry five. So if I wanted to buy another one, there you go. Okay. Um, I've still got 710 left, but let's go to the main map. So we've unlocked a new area now. We've just unlocked. Ooh, I've got DNA. Press the lab button. Right, this is the DNA. So we've got some DNA. Let's start a new mutation. Click the DNA button to start splicing DNA. Okay, may, here you can splice DNA and unlock new behavior. Now these are things you have to sort of save up for. So I think it is quite important that I, well, I choose a good one. So. Select one of these DNA sequences. So I've got three different ones I can do. I can do Death Grip, which is one point, And if you see up there, I've got two points. Unlock a zombie that's capable of con constricting humans with their grip. Or Plant Mines. Unlock a zombie which is able to plant mines to damage humans. Or Hyper Mutation. Increases mutation chance by unrest unrestraining the mutation gene. Hmm. I am not fancy that one, actually. Let's get that one. And if you're not satisfied with the DNA selection, you can choose to reshuffle it by clicking this button. Uh, now you've learned how to splice DNA, unlock as many zombie mutations as possible. Okay. So re reshuffle, I think. It must just not undo your choice, but maybe mix it up. Right. Uh, and there's also special zombies. We're not got to that bit yet, so we are going to go and do another level. We've got a zombie. Let's craft something with that. Okay, we're going to do it now then. Press the lab button. So this is, this is quite a lot to take in at first, but the more you play, the easier it becomes. Uh, infected regions will produce zombies. Let's chop it up and craft a new zombie type. Click the special zombie tab. Okay, here's the zombie chop shop. Here we can create zombies, Franken style. <laughs> okay, let's create a new zombie. Click on the head to select. So that... Up here, first of all, they're the base common zombies. I've got 16 of them, and he wants me to create this one. So, this one, we need two zombies. Um, so, if we just go on ahead and click craft, that should go down to 16. There you go. Great, now you have your zombie, but you need to quick a bit. So, click the equip button or drag it. So, I can do that, drag it over there, or I can click that. You can also upgrade your zombie by merging zombies of the same kind. We will give you 10 common zombies. Try this now. Okay, so now I can level this up. So if we level this up, there you go. Lifespan's gone up, speed, damage, all the other good stuff. Soon you'll have your zombie army and the world will be in the palm of your hand. Okay, so we've got uh, the spitter zombie here. Now, if you look at the spitter zombie... You see, that requires three normal zombies to make, so we are going to craft. And you can see the lines as well, what needs what to make. So if I click on that, I can see a brood uh, needs three. So if I click this, this will go down to 15. Oh, look, we've just got a bonus. Craft two zombies. Nice. 
Um, so now I've got this extra brute zombie. And I want to do my spitter zombies. I've not actually got my spitter zombies assigned yet. So we are going to make some more of these ones. Make a couple of them. Okay. And let's do a few brutes as well. So these are already dragging. I don't need to actually uh, create... Uh, I don't really need to drag them over. Uh, now, interesting enough, that used... Making that one... Let me have a little look. Pretty sure that used one of my other ones. Oh, it's because I've got the normal ones equipped. I've only got one left. Okay. So, let's go back and do the next level. So, we've got our new zombies now. We've got... Um, let me show you. So, we've got the standard zombies... We've got the chubby one. It's not fat. There's just more of it to love. Uh, we've got the brutes, which are like the tanks with little tiny legs. And we've also got the spitter. So let us try and try one of these out now. So we've infected that area a little tiny bit. Let's uh, go and infect another area. So Port Augusta. Kill 10 humans in one map. Use a grenade and spawn one spitter zombie. So we should be able to do that one and that one. And then we'll get some extra gold coins. So, first of all, we need to infect people. There we go. Let's drop our spitter. And we'll use the grenade as well to try and get the other bonus. Ooh, nice. And there's so many humans. You'll sometimes see them in the distance and they'll have headphones on. They won't quite hear where you are. Um, I'll show you the brute. Let's show you the brute. So, as you can see, he does... Massive damage, but he's really slow. Let's counter you. Send you back that way. Okay, come on. There's only one left. Now, sometimes... I don't know if it's like a line of sight. They don't quite see where they are. Okay, let's use our grenade and finish that off. Nice. All humans killed. And we have a victory. Nice. We've got another perfect. So this was just like the first, uh, ooh, hang on, let me just unzip. Nice, loads of extra zombies there. Do continue. Ooh, animal attacks in, in Do'ozzi. There's nothing to worry about yet. That's a big animal bite. Panic level's ridden a little bit. Got some new objectives. Let's continue. Okay, so uh, that's just the basics of how you actually create your special zombies, how you use your DNA, and how you use your items in Infect and Infect NATO 3 Apocalypse. So, if you like seeing this on the channel, let me know in the comments box below. That's all I'm going to show you for now, and I'll do some more of it. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.